Oh, yeah. Clyde, just on tonight's match, you're going to be a interested onlooker just to see how England goes? Yeah, for sure, and definitely see how, how our boys go. More importantly, you know, it'll be good to see all the combinations and the boys get a first hit out against a quality England side. What do you make of the depth of Australia's side now? A year ago, people were saying, where the hell is all these players going to come from now? Well, it's been good to see so many young guys get a chance and, you know, and all the young guys have really stepped up. And to see a l little bit of depth coming through in, in Australian rugby is very positive for us. And, uh, the more the more young guys we can get um, playing good footy, it help the uh, help the older blokes. Is it weird that a lot of these blokes are your good mates and yet you're all competing for spots? Yeah, well, that's that's a good thing about it. You know, if, if with everyone competing for spots, it makes it a, a lot harder for the selectors and it, it makes it a lot better for Australian rugby to have so many people competing for spots. How about yourself and the weekend? Your performance at five eight. How did you find that? Yeah, I really enjoyed it to get a start and play with Macedo. You know, it was a rusty start for us, but you expect that at test level when when you got guys coming from all different teams um, joining together. But the way we finished off the game, I really am um, very happy with the way that we went. Obviously you played the whole season with Bill Genia by his side, how different was it having Burgess there supplying you? It wasn't too different, you know, we just had to build into our combination, we haven't, haven't played too much with Burgi but um, was good once we got it once we got it flowing so I was really happy with the way Burgi went and the way he c controlled the forwards. Is Will on track this week to come back? Well, as far as I know I think he's right for selection whereas um, if Robbie uses him or not it's up, up to the selectors I guess. Do you feel more comfortable when he's at your side given you did play the whole season with him at the Reds? Well, I haven't played too much Wallabies with him so you know, like I, I very much feel comfortable playing with him you know, but the same with Burgi and, and Valo as well. You know, Everyone's just got to work together as, as a group to do well for the Wallabies. Stepping out at 10 at the weekend, did you feel comfortable in the role? Yeah, I did. You know, it was a very enjoyable game, playing against the Fijians. Um, there was a lot of big hits, and, but at the same time, I really enjoyed playing at 10 and uh, felt very comfortable. Was it as comfortable as you feel at, at the res, or were you still playing a bit within yourself? Yeah, I was just playing within myself. It was the first, first hit out. You know, I didn't want to go out there and try and do too much. You know, I just got to try and work out combinations and work everyone into the game. So the more time you get there, can fans expect to see a bit more flair and uh, well, more of your natural game? You don't go out there and try and do those things. They just come as you go. And uh, uh, the more we can play together as a, as a team, you know, the more that those sort of things can come out. Do you hope Johnny Wilkinson plays on Saturday? Yeah, for sure. You know, Johnny's been a childhood idol of mine, and to play against him at, at number 10 will be a, a great challenge and, and one that I'll, I'll look forward to. Did you base your game on him at all in any way? Uh, you know, I think every every kid based based a lot of their game around him. You know, he had a very strong defensive game, and you know, his kicking game was probably the best in, in world rugby. So you know, I think a lot of kids growing up you know, wanted to have um, his ability and, and really try and be as, as te technical as him. When you talk about his kicking game, are you talking about on goal or for touch? Oh, mate, everything. You know, he's a he's a special player, Johnny Wilkinson, and you know, if, in, if I could be as half as good as him, yeah, I'm sure I'll be on the right track. Are you happy where you are? Are you considering a move anytime soon? Oh, it's it's still still up in the air, but it's one thing that you know, um, I'm here on Wallaby duty, so you know, when when we get out of camp here, I'm sure that I'll be able to sort those things out. So you might not come back to the West anytime soon? Oh, you never know. You know it's a, like I said, it's it's something that I'll, I'll decide in the near future. Future, but at, at the moment I'm just concentrating on Wallaby duties. What are you weighing up in terms of that decision? I mean there's a lot of things but you know like again you know, I'm just here on Wallaby duty and that's something that I'd rather talk about.